Hello, welcome to Onita's Kitchen. Today I'm doing pizzas with naan bread. I will be doing a vegan pizza with aubergines and crojets, mushrooms, red peppers, onions, um, with some vegan cheese on top, with also with jalapeno. I'll be using jalapeno relish, tomato relish for the base. I'll also be doing another pizza um, with basic same ingredients, but I will be putting tuna fish on that. But when you're doing pizzas, remember, you can put whatever you want on it. If you want sausages on it, you can do. You want ham, you know, whatever you like, put on your pizza. But um, it's, it's nice to make it healthy at the same time and um, when you're doing it. Okay. Well, normal pizza, <coughs> I'm using tomato, red pepper, relish on the base. Spread that out. To make it more tomatoey, if there's such a word, I'm using the pesto rosso, um, it's a tomato paste. But like I say, you can put anything you want on it. You want barbecue sauce, tomato ketchup, sweet chili. You can do whatever you like. So that's that. Now, for the vegan one, I'm using kind of fiery red chili base. I'll just put some of that paste on. And I've also got, oh, this is absolutely lovely, this is. It's hot chili paste. Now, I'll also be using the tomato and jalapeno relish. Spread it out. Spread it over it. Okay. Slightly move that out of the way. I'll put the, for the topping, mushrooms. Tomatoes. All very healthy. Projects. I'm not going to put projects on this one. Over jeans. This is the vegan one that I'm putting the crojets and the aubergines on.
like red and green peppers. Red and green peppers on the vegan. Onions. Some more tomatoes on this one. More mushrooms on. Right, so once you put all the toppings on them, I tend to just put a little bit of Maggie sauce on the top. Put plenty on the vegan one because it soaks into the vegetables. And I put some jalapenos on the vegan. Only, like I say, just put on whatever you like or your family likes. You know, find out what everybody likes so that you know they're going to enjoy the pizza when it's done. Now, I'm going to put fish, tuna fish I'm putting on this. So if you make your pizzas nice and thick, you don't have to do too many because you slice it up and everyone gets a decent slice. So I'll put some more grated cheese on the top now. vegan cheese you put on the top just space it around some vegan cheese when it melts it still looks the same it doesn't melt like the nor the ordinary cheese so it's good to slice it thinly and just place it over the pizza so that the pizza get covered with it you can use there's different types of vegan cheese so you can use whatever vegan cheese that you like and i use this delicious smoky um vegan cheese which is really nice 
So I'm just gonna put some on top. See what I like about this is you won't need anything with this apart from some salad or you can just eat it as it comes because it is very nutritious not only is it nutritious but it is also tasty and filling right the cheese are ready to go into the oven it should take no more than 15 to 20 minutes um, the oven electric 180 or if it's gas seven okay so once it's been is cooked I will take out the oven and then you can see exactly what it looks like and also tastes like I've taken the pizzas out of the oven so I'm just going to cut a nice little slice off just to sample it and um, hopefully it should taste just as nice as it looks vegan pizza just cut a little slice Very nice. Now the vegan one, which is hot and fiery. There we go. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. Mmm. This is really delicious. I know sometimes people say I don't, I don't like vegetables, but you know what? Nowadays, vegetables are still fairly cheap and it can stretch a long way and it's healthy. Do give the vegan pizza a try. I actually believe you will enjoy it. You don't have to put the hot jalapeno on, but you can put on whatever vegetables you like. You can even put beetroot on it because I've had beetroot on my pizzas and it's absolutely delicious. So I hope you enjoy this. Avoid takeaways, it saves you your money and your money can spread a long way. Now this will go well with Onita's go-to salad. I've already done that video for you. So have a look at it and you can put it with this and it is really, it is a really healthy meal. Bye.